Okay, Chef Paul, what are you going to do for us? Thank you very much. Um, I'm doing uh, today one of our popular dishes on the uh, mango tree menu, which is called a Yum Hun Sen salad. Okay, so this is basically glass noodles with chicken, prawns, and a spicy lime sauce. So basically what I'm going to start off with doing here is, I'm going to make the sauce first, which I have some garlic, some fish sauce, some chilli, some lemon juice, and some sugar. The main thing we need to think about with um, Thai food is the four main ingredients, which is the spicy, the sweet, the sour, and the salt. The main thing is getting all those four ingredients together so not one ingredient overpowers the other. So for this side, we've got some little bit of garlic for the sauce, some sugar, got the sour of lime juice, I've got the spiciness of chili. And I've got the saltiness of fish sauce. So those ingredients there, I'm just going to whisk together. So while you're doing that, it, it, one of the things that I love about doing this show, apart from the fact that I get to taste all the food, it's a tough job that someone's got to do it, is meeting all the different chefs. Now, this is the first time I've met you. Um, and we've had a few chats during the course of the day. And one of the things that occurs to me is that you're not necessarily what I would expect uh, a chef to be who's cooking Thai food at the mango tree. Bear in mind you come from, is it Stratford upon Avon? <laughs> Just outside, um, um, to Spa. Um, to Spa. This thing, how did you get into uh, Thai food? Well basically it was uh, something that I wanted to do different. You know, I'm, I'm a classically French trained chef, um, so I really wanted to do something new and, and something different. So, you know, I've always wanted to do Japanese food, but then Thai food came along. And um, the company that I work for, for Mango Tree, um, I got offered this job and they, uh, they sent me to Bangkok for uh, six weeks. So that was a pretty, pretty awesome six weeks of learning how to make Thai food. And for a company that wants me to learn Thai food and send me to Bangkok, there's no better place to go and learn Thai food than, than Thailand. Isn't it? Um, obviously you need the background that you've had. I mean, you've uh, worked with some very good people, haven't you? Tell us a little bit about you kind of after you trained and where you went, that kind of thing. Yeah, so I, I trained at uh, Stratford and Haven College. Um, and then after Stratford and Haven College, I moved over to um, Amsterdam uh, to work with a chef called um, Albert Roux. Who you may have heard of. <laughs> Anyone heard of Albert Roux? Yeah. Yeah, yeah this man yeah. here, last time I used to work with him. I went to Amsterdam well. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so I worked for um, Albert Roux for the um, best part of um, eight years um, through Amsterdam and then going over to uh, Newcastle in England where I worked at a hotel called Slaley Hall. Um, pretty good experience, really good experience actually. Is that where all the football team stayed as well? Yeah, the England, the England team used to stay there quite a lot. Yes. So, Lovely. You know, I know a few people, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> but there's that background and that background that have been able to absorb all that knowledge. Uh, and you just, you just fancy the challenge of uh, yeah, the challenge fancy, of Thai food. I fancy doing something new, you know. At the end, end of the day, food is, you know, we all love food and we all love making food. You know, and it's, Thai food was, I found it very easy, but what I found very hard was this saltiness, spiciness, and sweetness and everything, getting all those flavours together so not one flavour overpowers another one. You know, and using all these ingredients, I mean, as you see with this salad here, you know, I've got about 10 ingredients to put into, in, into and this salad. it's all going to be exactly in the right proportion. And so it's, all, it's all perfect, you know, it's not, you'll, you'll eat it and you'll find that it's a very, very healthy salad, but nothing overpowers um, each other. Lovely, okay, so what's the next stage then, Chef? Okay, so I've made the sauce, which I'm just going to leave there. Now I've got some chicken mince, which I'm going to take just a little bit of this, and it's just going to go into some simmering water. This needs to be boiling. And this won't take long, this will take like maybe a minute, a minute and a half just to. It's instantly changing colour. Yes, yeah, it's poaching straight away. Tell us a little bit about uh, your role for mango tree, because there's more than one mango tree out here, isn't there? Yeah, we've got the mango tree at uh, Super Bar, which is where I'm based. Um, and then we also have the mango tree in Murder City Centre, 
Um, and we've just recently opened one in Doha as well, um, at the Pill in, in Doha, which is which seems to be going pretty well at the moment. What's the uh, what's the view like from the restaurant in Sikha Pretty good. Not pretty bad. good. I don't, I don't think you can. Uh, Has anyone been there? Yeah. yeah. Looking out over the Burj Khalifa. Time literally plays right here. <laughs> oh, you were telling me earlier about the uh, the wind that came through the other day with the fountains. Yeah, about, oh, about, I don't know if you remember, about four weeks ago when the, uh, this Shamal wind just, just came through uh, Dubai and we had uh, 100 people sat on the uh, terrace um, eating their Friday brunch. Uh, fountain going, Shamal winds came along, 100 people straight back into the restaurant, we started raining on the uh, terrace. Because <laughs> <laughs> what's the fountain about? It's something ridiculous, like 200 metres high, isn't it? Really it's pretty high, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I mean, to be honest, it is it is fantastic. It is, it is an amazing thing. That's a nice place to work, isn't it? I mean? Yeah, yeah, very nice. Very yeah. nice. And typically, I know, I mean, a thousand pad ties today. Typically, at the restaurant there, what kind of, what kind of how many people you want to get in on the session? Um, we do on average, uh, we're looking at, Say an average of probably about 180 a night, um, but you know normally we can we, we can do you know a combination of 250 to 300. You know, we are we are pretty busy. That's pretty good work, isn't it? Good work. So I've, I've poached the uh, chicken, and now I've got the uh, the prawns here. Some nice fresh prawns, which again I'm going to put into the water and just poach them. Now look at all this. If, if you've got this written down. This is something you could do at home, yes? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, it's a very, very easy salad. But, you know, I keep stressing the point of getting up the, the balance of the of the ingredients uh, correct. I mean, one of the things for me going to Bangkok was obviously to learn yeah. how to how to do all this sort of thing. Now, if I was to make this salad without knowing Thai food, it would either be too spicy, it would be too salty, or too sweet, or... Yeah. So these are just poaching. I'm not going to overdo them or underdo them, I'll just be slightly transparent. Is that the test? How do you know? What are you looking for when, when you're going to take these out? I'm literally just looking, as, as we see here now, it's very it's slightly transparent there. You can almost see still a slight tinge of blue from, yeah. from, what, the, uh, from what the prawns were. So they go in with the, with the chicken as well. Now I've got the glass noodles here, which in Thai was uh, wheat scent. So they're also going to go into here. These will take literally seconds to cook. And at the moment you've got you've got just a little a low heat on this. Yeah, very low heat. Yeah, it's, it's, not, away. it's not boiling, it's you know, it's just just simmering away slowly. Okay, glass noodles. Okay, out. so I've cut the noodles. As uh, I don't know if anyone were watching as I was doing it, as I brought them out with a spoon, I just kept them squeezing because you want to get as much water out of the noodles as uh, possible. And it's okay, they can take that pressure of yeah, squeezing yeah. out. Yeah, and that's, it's literally just because you don't want too much water in the salad, otherwise you're just going to uh, dilute the uh, sauce okay. as, it, as you put it in. Now obviously, glass noodle salad, because as you, you noticed earlier, they were white, and now they've turned basically into the, what you would say, colour of glass, basically. That's why it's they're, beautiful, aren't they? That's why it's a glass noodle. So, so in there now, I've got the chicken, the prawns, and the uh, noodles. So this is where all the ingredients come in. So I've got some red onion, which is going into there. I've got a very, very small bit of chilli. This is uh, called bird's eye chilli. Um, very, very, very small chilies, but packed full of seeds. Packed full, full of seeds. In terms of heat, what are they on a scale of one to 10? Um, well, if you take the uh, squiggle scale, which is, which is how uh, uh, the units of um, chili is measured. There's an actual scale for the... Scoble, Scoble, Scoble. Michael Williams, Scoble. Who knew that? Scale. Did anyone know that? <laughs> Proper foodies in there. What's it called again? The... Scoville. Scoville, Scoville scale. Scoville scale. Which is basically... It's... It is, a, it is an actual scale of how to do... of how to test chilies, but it is slightly uh, inaccurate because it's humans yes. that, that, that yeah. test it. So if you take, uh, for example, one of, one of the hottest chilies, which is up to uh, 13, 14 million units of, of chili in it, the one we're using, the one I'm using, the bird's chili, has got uh, 50 to 100,000 units of, of okay. heat in it. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's, it's a bit like my face, pretty red. <laughs> as, I've, as I've been in the sun for the last two days. <laughs> so I've also got some spring onion to put into there. 
You will notice as well that things that I'm doing here with like the, the spring onion and the, uh, the red onion, they're, they're very, very finely sliced. You know, we don't want it too big. You know, we don't, we don't want it too big. And also, again, finely sliced, but they're sliced on the angle. You know, we want to get some decoration there and you know, make, make things look good. And then we have some Thai parsley. So obviously you've got, you know, our normal English parsley, flat leaf parsley. This is uh, Thai parsley, which has a quite a sweet flavour. So there's a sweet flavour. There's a difference in taste between the two. Yeah, yeah. So that goes in again for a bit more flavour. This is Thai celery. So again, obviously celery is normal, but this is a, a Thai variety, which is just very, very thin. The celery is very thin. I was just getting the, the aroma of that, just from yeah, 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 that's actually quite pungent, isn't it? It is, yeah, it is. So you've got this celery, so it's just a very, very thin piece of celery, but big, big leaves on it. But again, even with this one, we're not chopping it big, you know, we're leaving it just roughly chopped, so we can actually taste the, the celery that's there as well. Peanuts, peanuts are a massive thing in Thai food. You know, a lot of dishes have, have peanuts. But this, this again, adds to a bit of the saltiness. The saltiness to the, uh, to the dish also. So it's the peanuts. And we've got some tomato, which, uh, which adds to a little, little bit of sweetness to the dish as well, and, and a little bit of colour. So there's some tomato in there. And now, literally, we just put the sauce on. Now, obviously we've got a lot of noodles here. As you can see now, my noodles have gone to a... So, we're going to put all this sauce in, because then we, don't, you know, we want to get the noodles moving again. You know, to make them... So obviously you brought the noodles to the top and all the sauce has gone straight on the noodles first. Yeah, yeah. So as we're mixing away here, the sounds are fall apart. And everything's getting a real good mix in there. There's just every single ingredient in there is something I would love to eat. Come on up, so come on up now. Put your nose in there. You can smell of that. That's amazing. And you can smell that warmth. There's quite some warmth yeah. coming up from that, yeah. as well as the aroma. And just all the colours, you know, you've got the lovely green there and the red and the colour from the prawns. What we might do, Chef, if it's okay, would you mind, can we plate these up on yeah, the nice clean course. surface over here course. so we can get the camera? Right in there. I'll just ask the names. Good evening, sir. What's your name? Jean Louis. Jean Louis. Do you know, it's like if you're either French or Italian, everything you say sounds cool, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, sir? My name is Robin. Robin. Very nice to meet you, Robin. And madam, your name? Khadija. Say again? Khadija. Khadija. Perfect. Lovely. Uh, do you come up? So, glass. So, I've made, I've made like a. As it sits in there, you see I made like a little, almost like a little bowl out of a, uh, out of an uh, iceberg as well, yeah. just to put a bit more decoration. So you kind of rolled a, a bed of the glass noodles underneath. Yeah, basically, yeah. And then, as you can see, I've just made sure that you can see every single ingredient in there. So yeah. You've got some chili there, the peanuts, the chicken. Yeah, you know, just just to give it that that, that look as well. Uh, what's on the menu at the Mango Show? Now we know about you've done a thousand pad thighs today already. What, what else is on yeah, the I menu? Might, I might take, I might, I might take a pad thigh on the menu now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, get, I'm, I'm getting bored of that. Um, we have, obviously we have the, uh, you know, the usual suspects, as in the uh, Tom, Yum, Tom Yum soup and, and uh, things like that. But we have things like uh, salmon uh, grappel, uh, which is a, um, a spicy sauce with uh, uh, fresh chili. Fresh chili and sweet basil inside it. There's, there's so many different types of, of ingredients like that, sweet basil, holy basil, hot basil, and you know, they're just they're fantastic ingredients to use. And every single one of them, just utterly delicious. Yeah. Like, this is the size we serve the salad. A oh, as well. There we go. You commented it's a very big salad, but that's the size you would get it. Lovely. Oh, no, left over for we can get some forks in there after. Look, ladies and gents, come on down. And that's a young woman's head salad. Ladies and gents, Paul Kennedy, my